Hello, and in this video, I'm going to explain how you can import or export a virtual machine for into or out of VirtualBox. First of all, what do we mean by that? So say, for example, um, you had created a virtual machine and you configured the hardware that it had and installed all the bits of software that was necessary to run a certain program. You might then want to export it to, say, a colleague or a friend or someone else uh, is able to import exactly as you have it configured without them having to go through all the steps manually. So some common examples of this might be software that's got a very specific hardware configuration or something that takes a very long time to configure. You might need to export it or send it to someone for diagnostics. On the internet you can often download uh, virtual machines with which other people are configured software ready to run. So I'm just going to guide through first how to import and second how to export. So I've got VirtualBox already open here on my Windows 11 computer. The process is very similar if you're using Linux or Mac OS or another version of Windows. So if we click on uh, import um, then click on this folder thing here to browse to where the um, images so my sort of network share uh, open this one Oracle Linux and click next and here we get a list of pre-configured hardware you may want to change this or adjust this or if it's been exported from a program other than VirtualBox you may need to set the defaults however I'm happy with these um, you can choose where you want it to be imported to uh, whether you want to change the MAC address of the network adapter. If you're doing some networky stuff, you might find that that's important, but for most cases, it should just work fine. And then how you want to import the virtual hard drives. There's a number of different formats and methods that you can do that with. The default VDI is handy for most, it just works fine for most virtual box applications. So we'll click finish. And then we get the progress here. It can take some time depending on the performance of your computer and the size of the virtual machine. And there we go, here's my Oracle Linux virtual machine that I imported. And so to export this virtual machine, select it, right click, export, and then we can choose a version. I tend to stick with 1.0 of open virtualization format. There's a couple of versions there. Where do I want to stick it? So in this case, it's my documents. MAC address policy, you can strip that out if you want or change it. Or, or keep it the same. Um, I don't want to copy the ISO, any ISOs with it. I'll just accept the defaults. And again, you can add some properties here uh, if you need to, or adjust the hardware configuration before exporting. Click Finish. And the export will begin. And again, this will depend on the size of your, virtu of your virtual machine and the performance of your computer. And we're done. If I go to my documents now, here we are. It's been exported, ready for use on another computer. Thanks for watching.